hell then. So it's that time again, and I definitely didn't just throw on a shirt just to play some Gwent. Uh, but before I get into the video, uh, I am going for a thousand subs by the end of July. I think it's pretty doable, we're pretty close. Uh, so if you aren't already subscribed and you want to see more content, it would really help me out if you could subscribe. Uh, when I get to a thousand subs, I'm going to do some giveaways and we'll do some special streams and all those kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you subscribed, you can get involved with the giveaways. Maybe get yourself something out of it as well. Uh, so enough about the channel kind of stuff. Uh, today we're running a bit of Rodea Deathwish. So this is a list I threw together mainly because since the change to Out of Shadows, I've sort of toyed about with Rodea and Deathwish for monsters because I think there's potential there because Out of Shadows went from kind of a, eh, it's not bad if you maybe trigger a Harpy Egg, maybe it's six points to... This is kind of ridiculous, you can trigger a Maruna, you can trigger, um, you know, something like a Manticore, a Werecat in certain situations, all that kind of stuff, so something I wanted to try, and we've just got basically a pile here, and general idea is the usual kind of stuff with Monsters Deathwish, where you have a lot of very solid effects, you have a lot of control tools, so it plays a bit more like a control deck, and I feel like it'll do reasonably well on ladder at the moment which is why I'm trying it out. There's a few sort of tech changes you can make. Uh, for example, there's a Werecat in here, you know, maybe if we're not running up against too much in the way of uh, Inspired Zeal Northern Realms, for example, if there was more uh, jackpot I was running into, for example, and maybe cut the Werecat, uh, you could run something like the Beast or Appearing Phantom. Uh, but it's a pretty, pretty self-explanatory list. Uh, we have a load of Death Wish stuff. We have several cards that can trigger Death Wish, and we try and control out. Um, then we have big point slams in the form of Detlaf and Haunt and Rodea triggering a Maruna or a Manticore to then consume it and get a second effect. So the general idea is we want to win a round one, bleed pretty short in a round two, and then just look for a nice short round three where we can you know, play literally, as I say, one of the one of the big cards to just finish it off because there's not a lot of decks that can really keep up in in a three, four, five card round with what monsters can do. Uh, so I think probably best explained in the video because, as I said, there's not too much beyond saying that's kind of what we're going for. Um, list obviously looks super janky because it's got to be singleton for Rodea, is what it is. And yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I can't promise that you'll have great success on ladder, but um, I'm more or less done with my rank stuff at the moment. So I'm just having a bit of fun with it. So I will get into the games. Ooh, Zeal. Uh, I'm kind of glad we left um, work out in then. Kind of depends. I mean, if it's triple commandos, then obviously we're, we're very pleased about that. In considering maybe we need like a Dorogare instead of the Parasite. Might be the way to go. I uh, wouldn't mind a consume or something here. Not bad. It's not bad, we can work with this. We can definitely work with this. We may well be pulling like a slice or something. Uh, but we also probably probably need to chill out. We might need to hunt for Parasite to um, to kill Fall Test, so we'll just have to see. Uh, we maybe can get a bit sneaky with it as well. Um, use Pred Dive instead. My preferred method. But nobody. Oh, maybe we're not running. Pre we're not playing Pred Dive because that just doesn't work here. Oh, we can see. Uh, don't know it's fine. Absolutely fine. Because we have the purify for it. Um, I'm running two purifiers in this just because we are quite reliant on triggers and being able to kind of get at our opponent's stuff. So uh, we maybe don't want to be leaving it up to chance in effect. And the kind of good thing about like Queen of the Night is like at worst it puts Fall Bleeding on, it's like nine points, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Nice mess you've got here. Ah, now I wish I kept the uh What's it called? 
natural selection would would have been pretty nice but we may be dipping out of this round sooner rather than later I mean this isn't too bad is it we see Karathi uh, we throw the squirrel and something else and we get Maruna dive um, and then we're very likely to see Detlaf yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough with that uh, we maybe just play another card and then say goodbye maybe the way we want to do this we can also just parasite that I think we maybe need to um, just because that's going to get very scary very quick very very quick don't care too much about winning this round because I think where cat will be pretty helpful be pretty helpful if it's like triple commanders then maybe we have a bit of trouble but um is what it is I guess is what it is I do have a bit of a story for you as well uh from just before I did like it was on my video before I know it was like I think it was like last week or something uh, I was gonna do a video and it was when Battle Rush was live and I was so I think about what to do and I was like oh I can try and get like um what's called Radovid Africa going try and get that 20 point um Radovid and I literally managed to do it in like one turn uh, in one turn in one game sorry I was like really happy um, went in my contracts to check and like I'd literally got it like um, like last year like last summer didn't even realize I had it so I recorded this video for like about half an hour and it was kind of pointless and it had to had to get trashed but it is what it is things I do for you all I swear I swear um, squirrel isn't actually bad squirrel is not bad at all um, the next card is the one that was before Andrega Lava, and I've forgotten which it was, but I think I wanted it. Yeah, which apprentice? That's fine. With a uh, slicer, we should be should be able to do that. Okay, it's the siege version, which is fine. Uh, Whispering Hillock's probably going to pull our Maruna as well. I will try and uh, try and hold an error if it's all possible. So, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? I don't quite want to play a haunt. It just seems a bit. Um, doesn't seem too great. I don't really want to just play out Rodea because then kind of bully us a bit, don't they? Kind of bully us a bit. I do need to deal with this ballista though. So I'm just keeping it in the back of my mind. Uh, that's okay though. That is okay. So Manticore's reasonable. Whether we want to play Haunt or not. I mean, in fairness, we have Worker and Foglet to come, so uh, if it comes to it, I think we're fine. And then we'll play Foglet. I know playing it on the range row is weird for Trebuchet, but I want to give Foglet some value at least. Oddly, that works out pretty good for us. Because um, it'll put Blister in range of Maruna should we want to. It may have to be Haunt next turn, though. Either that or Rodea. Um, I think it's maybe Haunt. We can jam the Haunt. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen, isn't it? It's going to have to. We'll see. We'd rather keep the work at um, for inevitable for better or something like that. Oh, but yeah, we can 
put on it. I'm surprised that Foglet's base could be the answer here. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so Death Wish card. I mean, we could just, we probably just pull something we don't want to draw into. Um, should probably let the Noon Wraith. It's probably the Noon Wraith. Um, we do see Marooner as well, so that's actually fine. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, just double check Noon Wraith. Yeah. More than enough. And we'll just get a big boy. Now, but this could definitely be worse. We have first say, which is really, really nice. Um, it means we still get to use dive. I can't think of a universe where we want to play dive anymore, but um guess you go. Don't want to be seeing you and So I mean Squirrel can get rid of one of the blue stripes, it makes it a little less impactful, but I don't like that. I don't like that. Spores, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, so we can start in Draga. Because what we'll do is they'll play something, we play Rodea, they play something else, double Maruna. Hopefully we steal two things. Or they do this and they get something huge. Oh, the vet is not so bad, is she? The vet is not so bad. And we'll just try and get um, Bitch Prentice ready to go here. As we probably won't be an Aeromancy for Detloff actually. Um, just because we may be struggling to trigger all the Death Wishes. Probably an argument for running another consumer of some form. Um, maybe Bargeist or something. I think it's just from the bleed. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. These things happen. These things happen. Uh, that's fine. That's actually fine because we have the spores. Um, we also probably get a steal onto it. So I think they need to uh, need to use that sooner rather than later. Oh god, they're fives, aren't they? Uh, but not to worry. If only we had a uh, way to knock those down a little bit. So I think we sit on this uh, for now. Sit on this for now. Because we'll probably maroon a uh, end of shadows, and then we'll do the double consume. Probably the way to go about it. Probably the way to go about it. Uh, this has Thrive as well, so... Think of what we want to pull. Um, not too sure at the moment. Not too sure. Uh, we do have 25, but I mean, we'll... Oh, they've got a new effect on Iron of Shadows. I like that. I like that. And there's no there's no reason to um, to do work out quite yet with it having Thrive. Um, might get use out of it yet. Okay, so... I mean, in terms of the Thrive, we maybe just play the Queen of the Night. It's not bad. It's not bad. Be 
not afraid. This will only hurt. Yeah, this is fine. Um, obviously with this, we basically have three seven points come in. Uh, Spalls is going to be a little disappointing. Just because they used their AA there. Um, obviously was kind of hoping it would maybe be something a bit more impactful. But uh, is what it is, I guess. Is what it is. Let's see if that's enough. Um, eight points left. Eight points on the last card. Diveman. Easy stuff, boys. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. All right, this is like the ultimate test, isn't it? Right? Is there a bigger test than if a deck can beat Jackpot? So, I think something we're really going to benefit from is that Horn um, can't be Karathied gonna really benefit from that so I think we need to take advantage of that so squirrel goes uh, Slizer's really nice um, I think we drop maxi we maybe drop maxi I think it's greedy to draw maxi but at the same time I kind of want to uh, we'll drop packed yeah I'm actually fine with this uh, I'm not totally opposed to using Maruna if it comes to it. I'd rather not, but um, sometimes it's needed, isn't it? One of the benefits of this deck is like people maybe see this and think, oh my god, it's Vi, and uh, panic a little bit. There are some top decks, aren't they? There are definitely some top decks. I don't think we'll mess about with that at all. But yeah, I think it's probably just going to be Slizard. Or use it. I don't think we care enough. Queen Knight's going to be really valuable. Uh, removing, removing Bounty, removing Poison. If Max is the card that's going to get poisoned away, I don't think we care all that much, really. Okay, we can we can chill. As I say, we we do want to push in round two. Either push for like a a two -a, or be short up the round super short. So like death laughs the last card. Uh, payday friend, cool. Okay, so we can play witch apprentice. Still fine to play this. Obviously, she's not active yet, but I mean. That is very slow. Very, very slow. I mean, this looks like a hand that they just can't play or something. Like, double poison and payday there seems weird. Awesome. Weird. Weird. Okay. That genuinely warrants a Karathi, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think so. We may also look to Maruna to steal the Redanian. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Can't do it anymore. Sad. Sad. So what can we pull here? Um, I'm not really opposed to just playing out Rodea. Retrigger this, use a leader on it. Uh, Cause that's eight plus 14. Uh, 15, sorry. All right, we go for that, I think. Um, it is a bit of a commitment, but as I say, we really need to be we really need to be getting something out of this round. We don't just want to pass and go to a round three because they just have too many control tools. We don't win a long round three. And now watch this be the one dude who's... I was going to say Igni actually, but Rodea stops that. It's all part of the plan. All part of the plan. 
Yeah. As I expected, that's probably a little bit too scary for him to deal with. So it's an expensive round. But I think it needed to be done. We've seen two poisons out, um, so Queen of the Night will be quite relevant. And we've got pretty much all of our good death wishes, haven't we? Um, which we knew we were actually going to get, uh, remembering that. And an era is going to have to be for Debla. So this is this is a two her two her two her hand. Whoops. Uh, two her hand if ever I've seen it. So what we'll look to do is um Oh well, okay that's uh I was gonna say we'll try and use Maruna smartly to steal stuff so that Manicor gets a good hit. And I mean I would probably say Professor's a pretty good hit. In all honesty. I mean, if they like poison this or something, we just Queen of the Night purify it, it's whatever. Um, obviously, Siggy's scary, but I mean, we still have. Uh, what's it called coming? Uh, we still have a spawn, sorry, should we want to? Uh, do we Maruna here? I think we do. Maruna's just generally good here. Obviously we don't have dominance, which is gonna hurt us quite a bit. But uh, we take away some carryover. The threatening board state, and we'll, we'll have to look for a consume. Uh, we're probably going to need Endraker Warrior. I think I, it goes without saying, we probably just give up on Detlaf, and Spores is going to be insane. And we'll set this up because they'll think like, ah, oh, yeah, 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 it's fine because we've got dominance. But I mean, Spores comes down, we can bar Geist, do the whole shebang, it's all good. It's been a long, hard road, hasn't it? Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Do that with Spores. Consume you. Job's a good one. Uh, we maybe should have consumed Night Wraith, actually. Just because it, it works all the same points, uh, but it's like one more point for um, <laughs> Queen of the Night if we do. If we're going to tune this instead. Alright, and we, we dip out here. Um, obviously, with the. They still have Caesar building up and their leader, so that's a lot of points. That's pretty pretty happy with that um obviously it's a horrible horrible matchup but we've seen most of the scary stuff out which you know we're obviously pretty happy about obviously jox is coming um jox will be a little bit sad should they find it i can't remember what the next card was sad uh I mean, I guess this is maybe better than a pact. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Got your jocks? No, hide out. Okay. This isn't so bad. Um, because they probably they're probably banking on getting a decent poison through. You know, with like a gallet or something, and we can kind of deny it a bit. Save the transfer it now. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't have high hopes for this one. Uh, it was probably just worth using the Indraker there, actually.
but we just accept that they're going to get some form of poison value. We lose two points on the on the fog, unfortunately. Doing it this way to give them a two point worse poison, but I guess it isn't a two points worse poison. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, I was thinking, oh, it's a smaller unit, but it's not. Don't work out. Don't work out. Yeah, big sad, big sad. In a turn that surprises absolutely no one. Uh, this is a big loss, isn't it? So that's a that's an escape by there. So in in conclusion, in conclusion, this deck can compete unless it's up against Jackpot. Uh, but I I've I've been enjoying this deck. I've played a few games with it now, and it's impressed me. To be fair, um, obviously. It, struggles a bit against jackpot i think maybe it needs a few more consumes i think maybe something like a bar ghost is maybe necessary um or like a baba gazi probably has a place in the deck but uh, yeah let me know what you think about it and i will catch you in the next one